y'all welcome back to my channel my name is Angela Vaughn if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by I hope you stick around and if you are already a part of the click then welcome back so y'all the wedding is swiftly approaching and we are slowly but surely getting everything together things are falling in place I've already picked all of my bridesmaids and I wanted to give them like a little keepsake and so I decided to do some bridesmaid proposal boxes so I've seen people do these and I just thought it was such a cute idea but y'all when I went online and saw the prices of these I was like oh uh uh <laughs> Like, I went on Etsy and I just typed in like bridesmaid proposal boxes and some of those boxes were really not cheap. And I have 10 bridesmaids, well I have 8 bridesmaids and 2 maids of honors and I just was not about to be paying like $80, $90 per box. It just wasn't about to happen. So what I decided to do was make my own. So basically I just ordered each piece separately and then I just put everything together in my own little box. And this is what the final product looked like. Each box has the girl's name on it and then it has a cute little bow. And I will show you guys the contents of what's inside and how I put it together in the next clip. So just keep on watching. All right, y'all. So I'm starting off with the personalized box. And it just says, will you be my bridesmaid on the inside? And for my maids of honors, they're said, will you be my maid of honor? Then their name is written really pretty on the front. And this is actually not the same person that I ordered it from, the one that I'm showing on the screen. But it's very similar. They let you pick your color and your font. And then it also has the magnetic part in the front so that you can just close it like that without putting anything on it to tie it together if you don't want to. So next is the paper that I used. This little shredded paper I actually just ordered off of Amazon. I ordered two pounds of it because I really didn't know how much I would need. And I ordered it in white and I just put it on the bottom of the box just to kind of fill it in a little bit to make it look really cute. So next I used these plastic glasses and they're also personalized with each bright maid's name on it so I just thought those were super cute and they're blue. Everything that I ordered was blue y'all because that's the color of my wedding. So next are these little scrunchies and they say I couldn't tie the knot without you so I just thought that was so 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 cute i absolutely loved it i love how big and pretty they are they're just everything so next is these candles and they say i couldn't say i do without you and they're also blue at the top and the rest is gold which i just thought was so elegant and pretty and they had different scents but i chose lavender because Lavender just always smells really good and y'all these candles made the box smell so amazing like as soon as you open the box you smell it and it's just really really a nice touch so I definitely recommend adding a candle and then next is the pen and it just says bridesmaid on it. You could have also got like brides, babes, or maid of honor. I got two maid of honors, of course. And I just love how beautiful these pins are, y'all. And I actually realized that they looked a lot like my ring because they're rose gold. So, love that. <laughs> So this is what the box is looking like so far, but I just wanted to add a little bit of an extra touch. So I went in with these felt flowers and I got 24 of these for $10 off of Etsy. And again, I got them in blue just to stick with the blue theme and they just added such a pretty touch to the boxes 
and really just kind of tied everything together so i really loved the way those looked inside the box And these are the final results. I absolutely love them. And finally, I'm going in with the ribbon. I'm just using this white ribbon, but you can use whatever color you want for your box. And it has two holes inside the box. So I just put the ribbon through each of the holes, close the box, and then tied it into a nice pretty bow. And that's it y'all. I have my very own DIY bridesmaid proposal boxes. <laughs> so I absolutely love them. Like I said, my bridesmaids love them. I'm so, so happy that I did this. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to join the click if you haven't already done so by hitting that subscribe button and check out some other videos on my channel. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all next week in my next video. Bye.